This submission is from Team Apollo. We built a classroom library application called Blast Off to Reading. It allows kids to create their own books and share them with the rest of the class, it allows teachers to monitor the reading of these books, parents can approve their kids' reading, and also it shares statistics with the teachers so they can better serve the class. So we're starting off with one of our star students, Mallory, creating her book in the uh, Blast Off to Reading system we created. So she's gonna start off using our Canvas app that she could use uh, here on a laptop or at home on a tablet or a mobile device. She's entering her title and choosing her, her name as the author. And now she's gonna take a picture of the artwork that she drew, especially for this book. And below she's gonna type her very compelling story. As soon as she submits her book, then her book becomes part of the classroom library that the rest of the class can view at home or in the classroom on the portal we've created. And we'll show that next. Mike is a struggling reader looking at our book library, our classroom library here on the portal, and he's going to use the Apollo 11 wiki using the help of Cognitive Services Immersive Reader. Apollo 11 was the space flight that first landed humans on the moon. Cognitive Services Immersive Reader allows readers to color parts of speech or use an integrated dictionary so they can click on words and actually see what they mean. This is helping Mike learn how to read. Moon. Commander Neil Armstrong. In total, our application uses several power platform technologies, including CDS, Canvas Power Apps, Model Driven Power Apps, Portals, Azure Face API, this Immersive Reader API from Cognitive Services, as well as Flow, Custom Approvals, and also direct calls to Azure Face APIs. The only code for the app was Liquid and some JavaScript for the portal pages used to incorporate the Immersive Reader experience. When Mike is done, he can rate the book just by taking a picture of his face and Azure Cognitive Services will rate his emotion, and here he decided, it decided that he thought the moon rocks. In the model-driven app, the teacher can see Mike's reading log here, and also how he rated the book, how much time he spent reading it. Now, this is not yet verified. The parents will get a flow approval, and they can verify that Mike actually did this reading. As a parent, I get an email once Mike completes his reading, and I can use flow approvals to uh, put in some comments and confirm that this reading actually happened. And when I submit it, it'll update the reading log for the teacher to review. And in that way, the teacher can see all of the reading that the class is doing and make sure that the parents are involved in the process. As a teacher, I can come in here and I can see the most uh, popular books that are in our classroom library. I can also then see how the books have been rated and I can also review my class and see the students that have not been reading much that might need more attention, as well as my star students. And here we can see that Mike's really picking up thanks to Blast, Blast Off to Reading and how it's helped him really love reading. Let's look at Mike's record a little further here. I can see here he's read 41 books and he spent over 1,300 minutes reading. And I can see each one of the books and his rating and how much time he spent reading it. The teacher can also browse the electronic classroom library here in Blast Off to Reading by clicking on books and seeing every book, and also what each student wrote within the book. And that way they can review the books all in total. Thanks to Blast Off for Reading, I can create books, share them, and learn how to read better. I love books. <laughs> Space is cool. Thanks to Blast Off to Reading, Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Thanks to Blast Off to Reading. You had it too low. Well, well. Thanks to Blast Off to Reading, I can read books. <laughs> <laughs>